What's going on guys? Brian here from Guardians of the Geckos and we are at Tampa Repticon right now and I have a special gift box for my boy, Jameson. Hey, dude, I really appreciate it. I'm um, super excited. He doesn't even know what this is. He may not even need this, I don't know. I'm gonna I just want alone again. you to <laughs> open it. Let's be honest, washing dried up gecko diet out of these little plastic contact lens trays that we've been using for years is not the most glamorous part of being a gecko breeder. Obviously it's time consuming, the stuff sticks to the plastic and you have to let it soak for quite a while, at least that's how we do it in this little laundry sink I installed, just for this reason. I've seen some people have like literally a dedicated wash machine, I want to say Altitude Exotics, I think they do that, or they just put all of them in there, which is pretty smart, not gonna lie, but there's got to be an easy way to do this, right? So one of the things I enjoy doing with Guardians of the Geckos is trying to find ways to make my life as a breeder more efficient without sacrificing the quality of care we give to our animals. Actually, on that note, I have an idea. Logan, I have an idea. Can you help me? Yeah. Yeah, come here. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Logan, you want to help Daddy wash the trays? Yeah? Go ahead. Go on your stool. This is how you do it. <laughs> Couple more years. I can retire. Give it all to him. <laughs> Is that one clean? Put it in here when it's done. Good job. All right, fist bump. Boom. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> all right, guys. So it has been crazy busy around here lately. A good kind of busy. We've been doing back-to-back -back shows. Gecko's hatching like crazy right now. Crusted Gecko's coming out almost every other day, um, or every day, I should say. Gargoyles even had a Lichianus hatch just this morning. Pretty cool. So besides all that, I've been working on something for about a year now, and today we're finally launching it. But before I get into that, um, something I just wanted to clarify with you guys back then, about a year ago, um, I don't think I've ever talked to you all about this before, but you may have noticed we kind of transitioned from the old school Guardians of the Geckos logo, the one with like the superheroes on it. Still love the logo. I hand drew that stuff myself back before we even owned the business. Um, and it's, you know, it's a cool logo. We're gonna still use it in some aspects, but I wanted to transition our main logo to something a little more um, simple, if that makes sense. Um, but easy to recognize, basically like a brand. So I wanted to kind of go in that direction with this new design right there. The kind of Sonic the Hedgehog looking uh, Crested Gecko head. Um, changed all of our social medias about a year ago to that. Um, updated the website. And yeah, I wanted to create something that I could easily put on any of our merchandise. Like you see here, it's, you can embroider this. The old logo, you could not embroider at all. Or whether you stamp it on something, you just need the two colors, or really just one color, um, versus the other logo, it's, you know, it's a whole spectrum of color, so it's hard to do that. But yeah, and the reason I wanted to go about that, one for branding, I wanna be able to post our logo without having Guardians of the Geckos next to it, and I want people to eventually recognize, hey, that's Guardians of the Geckos without me having to write it out and spell it like you see back here, you know. Um, 
So, overall though, why that was really important is because of today. And today, we are officially launching our new Guardians of the Geckos product line called Breeder Series. So, I guess without me having to sit here and explain it all to you while I'm sitting in the chair, let's roll the promo video. At Guardians of the Geckos, we've been working with and breeding high-end geckos for a while now. We've produced thousands of beautiful animals, vended at at least a hundred shows, and met and became good friends with so many amazing breeders. One of the things we all have in common is our passion and love for our reptiles. As breeders, we want to provide the best quality of care for our animals while being efficient when you have to provide for hundreds upon hundreds of hungry and at times messy geckos. So with that, let me introduce you to the Breeder Series, our own line of products designed and developed with breeders in mind. So check them out. These are all silicone-based products. Why silicone? Well, first, they're non-toxic, meaning they're safe for babies, but more importantly, they're safe for your reptiles to eat out of. They're also extremely durable. And one of the main reasons why I wanted to develop these is they're easy to clean. Now the first group I'll talk about are the three different size feeding dishes. You got small, medium, and large. Each dish has two different size bowls for gecko diet and water, or whatever else you want to use it for. They have a low profile and wide base to allow your gecko easy access to their food without accidentally tipping the dish over and making a mess. Now we currently use the small for our baby crested or gargoyle geckos. This is what we're using now that replace those contact lens cases that we were using for years. And trust me when I say this, they are so much better. Next is the medium dish, which of course is perfect for juvenile or adult geckos, which we're now using with all of our grow outs. Then we got the large dish, which of course we're using for our lechianus, but we also use this for our breeder groups. Now let's move on to the feeding cups. We got two different size cups, small at 0.5 ounces and large at 1.5 ounces. So these cups were designed to fit securely into most magnetic or suction cup feeding ledges based on whether it's small or large. And just like the dishes, they're durable, reusable, non-toxic, and of course, easy to clean. But here's the really cool part about these cups. We actually added a one millimeter thick Guardians of the Geckos logo to each side of the cup, not only because it looks cool, that logo will actually help to secure the cup in and help prevent your gecko from stealing the cup out. Yeah, pretty awesome. And with all five of these products, they come in four sick colors, extreme pink, electric blue, lychee green, and charcoal. So these five products are already available on our website, but we're not stopping there. This is just the beginning. In a couple of months from now, we're gonna be releasing our very own magnetic ledge in two different sizes, which will complement the silicone cups. Our goal with this line is to make top quality products for you, the reptile breeder. We believe that our geckos deserve the best care. So if we can make things more efficient, that means we can dedicate even more time to ensuring that we deliver that care for the animals we love.
are going to pull um, this big Egyptian cobra out, Naja Haji, um, second largest cobra in Africa, very, very toxic, um, but he's a super puppy dog. Um, again, still a cobra, he can definitely do cobra things. So we're gonna be careful, we're gonna take him out. I just put his water dish in an hour ago and he's already flipped it and made a complete mess. So we'll pull him out real quick, we'll can him, um, get him cleaned up, you know, just kind of spruce him up a little bit. And I think I have to get a heavier water dish so he can't do this. So, cause he see, this seems to be a game now. Um, we like to play flip the dish. So um, obviously when keeping venomous reptiles to definitely take every measure of safety protocol. So, you know, I have enough experience to know where my limitations are. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this guy out. Now, this is usually the part where, you know, he's, he's pretty calm. He knows, he knows he's going into his can. He knows what's going on. He's done this enough times. The lid goes on. So like I said, this bowl I just don't think is heavy enough. There's no, there's no poop in here. Okay, it actually smells pretty good. Now we use a little extra precaution. We put a slide in there so the glass doesn't can open, but we also obviously per Florida law, we have to have that locked. So it's locked. Plus there's this just in case. So now he's mad that I took his play toy away. <laughs> But one of the coolest snakes here, you know, fun to handle. Um, but as you can see, it's pretty mundane. We go cage to can, can to cage. He doesn't come out to play. You know, we might take a picture or two of him, um, depending on what we're doing. Uh, but safety protocols are in place um, so that if I'm the only one here, nobody touches anything. Everything stays locked. There's always two people in the house uh, at all times if we're doing any kind of handling or work. So. All right, guys. So. I am here with my buddy Paul. <laughs> and now the dog. It is dog. Cue the dogs. <laughs> and so I wanted to take you guys here because this is his mini little facility where all of the magic happens. Where me and him have been able to sit down. We've been working on this months now. Actually, we've been talking about this for almost a year. Yeah. Um, but really developing it since I say early January. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he has a bunch of his 3D printers going. And his company name, by the way, guys, is... 4Real 3D, 4Real Reptiles, and 4Real Media. Yes, right? It's all I'll put it right here. Early on, when I was playing with the idea on developing these products, I was l researching different companies that could help me with developing it, designing them, because I don't have any design capabilities. Um, but it's hard to articulate to these companies me as a reptile breeder what i'm looking for for my animals my geckos and that's why paul what came in clutch because of your experience as you see we are standing around a ton of snake racks we got bearded dragons over here uh because paul is a reptile breeder but not only that he owns for real 3d where you basically do product development yes. as well as badass 3d prints i'm sure you if you guys go to a Florida Repticon, you've seen him before, seen yep. his table, his, he has some really awesome stuff. What we've done is we've taken the, I guess you'd say the functional design and made it real. So we took a need that was something based on the animal's quality of life, because we want them to have the absolute best. And we've developed products that we can put in the cage to hold food dishes, to hold water dishes. So this whole product line is called Breeder Series because it's supposed to help out the breeders as well as the animals. Yeah. Um, and that's why on the packaging it says developed by breeders, reptile breeders. Um, yeah. And that that's really cool that I'm able to talk to him and he completely understands all of that. Um, yeah. And you got some stuff printing right yeah. now anyways. So we have, we have some this is a the finishing portion of a bearded dragon so as you can see it prints the head separate uh, from the body and then we just we pop them back together so the body is printing on here and this right here so i've already talked about the dishes and the cups 
And this is gonna be the magnetic ledge that will complement the silicone cups. Yep. So if everything goes smooth, hopefully I think by Daytona, we'll be coming out with the magnetic yep. ledges, which is super exciting. So you guys might also be wondering like, okay, we see like the ledges being printed right here, um, but obviously the dishes and everything are silicone. So yep. how, what, what did we do to do that? So do you want to just kind of break down like our, almost our, the cool part, the learning process and how we had to figure out how okay, to get so to the final product. So we know about, you know, uh, crafting and, and everything, you know, it's become this huge, huge thing. So one of the things that my wife does is resin stuff. And I thought, well, there's resin, there's gotta be silicone. Like, yeah. there's gotta be. So we went on the Amazons and we found silicone. And listen, we've probably, I've probably wasted way more than I've used, but it was fun. <laughs> we both have. Yeah, but <laughs> but it's, a, it's the learning, it's the experience yeah. of learning. And, and when we made the first mold, um, we had to change it because, believe it or not, even tightening it together with nuts and bolts, there was still seepage around, which left weird, ugly little yeah. edges. That and this were was the original design yeah. of like the cups. Yeah. You came up with the original idea to put the logo for the cups yep. on the side. Yeah. Um, which at first I was like, oh no, I don't like that. But then we put it into the magnetic ledge and it turns out that it helps actually secure the ledge in there. So that actually came out by accident yes. without us even realizing it's, what we were doing. It's one of those things that when you're doing this stuff, you're experimenting constantly. Yeah. And you're, I can't tell you, I've probably printed a dozen iterations of this, the molds and you print it and then some of them you can look at right away and know, yeah, that's not gonna work, that's yeah. garbage. But this is the best part about the 3D printing portion is when you print something like that, yeah, it takes a little bit of time, but it's cost effective. Think about it from the aspect of it's it's four hours for yeah. the for the silicone, right? And so you have limits because you yes. only have these right here right now. Yeah. You have access to a bigger facility. Oh yeah. But, yep. I've got some um, really really good friends um, up in Michigan that they're just amazing, and we have access to a lot of printers. Yeah. <laughs> so which is awesome, but again, we want to be able to do this here to get the ideas for you as a consumer to have great stuff and and have it be functional like at the end of the day who wants to stand in this room for three or four hours scrubbing dishes you know yeah. when you can have a dish that literally takes seconds to clean. get that right out of there so anyways thank you so much um awesome stuff i'm super excited to get this stuff finally rolled out yeah. it's been a long time in the making yeah. um and yeah so anyways cool. make sure you guys follow him at for real 3d Say hi to him next time you go to one of the reptile shows. And yeah, appreciate awesome. it, man. Awesome. Catch you later. Yep, have a great weekend. I'm gonna I just want box alone again. you to <laughs> open it. Yeah. I need opinions before I go like full on blast this everywhere. So if I need to change anything, he could yell at me. So I'm hooking some of my other friends up um, with some of these you'll see in a second, including Stephanie. That's a colorful Cresties right there. Make sure to follow like. <laughs> Okay. Right. Just open it. So let's, haven't let's, looked inside let's yet. Let's get the reaction. There's something special to you for you. All right. Let's <laughs> see. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Dude, this is awesome. I've been looking to get into the, like get some of these to try out, and oh. you're making some. Oh, silicone. Yeah, silicone, dude. So, dude. <laughs> these are great. They look so yeah, we're, we are making those in house. I had to throw in this specific one for you. Oh, dude, that's dope. Oh <laughs> every, my god. Every silicone thing comes oh, in four colors. That's so you cool. have electric blue, yeah. lychee green, I'm gonna hold extreme them pink, up. and then charcoal. Oh, I don't have enough hands. <laughs> um, and cutting down on single use plastic. You yes. know? Really yeah. outdated. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up, at least for now. Thumbs up. Hey. Dude, right. thank you. Thanks, this buddy. is awesome. I really appreciate it. You approve? Hella excited. Yes. Finally, these guys have not been to a show in a while. So we have Kevin and Morgan from Omni Geckos here finally showed up. Yeah. So yeah. I want to show you something though. All right. All right. Honest opinion. Okay. I think you already know a little bit about it. Oh, this, okay. This. Dude. Oh. And these would be this. really, yeah, these would come in handy for Check the babies. It. Yes. So no more tipping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No so for the, for the babies, like 
not even just putting it on for the camera. These would be amazing yeah, just because they can't water. tip them over. Yeah, and then yeah. for water too, and they won't drown. You can have your, your food in your water. And obviously you may have seen them in a previous video we filmed, but if you don't know, Omni Geckos, make sure to film them, follow them with their story on their highway line and all the cool stuff they're working on. A lot of awesome projects. Yeah.